Good morning, sir. I mean, good evening, sir. Good evening, Harshit. Sir, could you tell me what happened in last class? I couldn't see the recording here. We have finished the trigonometry now on this one. The application of trigonometry, we have finished the NCRT sums. Okay, sir. So we'll continue new uh, new sums. No, we continue based on that. Only we just uh, do few more sums based on that extra sums. Huh? Okay, sir. Yeah. But Oh, what are you talking about? 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 What are
Hello everyone, on the on camera now, we'll start the class. So question number seven, can you see question number seven? I can see only Hansini. I don't see anybody else. So, Harshit, Tanishka. Yes, sir, turning it on. Sir, Sweet. on mobile, I'll, I'll turn it on once I'm on laptop. Rainy, Ivan Kartik, Aditi, Monish, all of you on the camera right now. So there's two questions over here, 1.6, question number six and question number seven. Just try to do everyone. All of you try question number six and question number seven. A boy 1.6 meter tall. Remember? A boy is 1.6 meter tall, is 20 meter away from the tower. See, this is full big tower. This may make tower one complete big tower you make. But you find the answer all of you, if you know, if you know this, you just do by yourself. So this is tower, big tower. One guy is just 1.6. I just make one line over here. This is 1.6. This is tower, complete big tower, right? Angle of observes the angle of elevation of the top of the tower be 45 degree. 1.6 meter tall boy, 20 meter away from here. And observes the angle of elevation of the top of the tower be 45 degree and 60 degree. So there are two questions over here. So this is the first question. Once you should consider 60, and once you consider 40, the 45 and then 60. In both the cases, we have to find the height of tower. Always find the height of tower in both the cases. If this is 1.6, this is also what? 1.6 itself. So, what is the height of tower? Who will tell me first? Just tell me the height of tower. So I just uh, uh, tell me the answer in the chat box. So they should consider 45 degree first, then 60 degree. So what is the answer in both the cases? All of you got the answer for this? It's one minute answer, right? Yeah, 20 meters itself, right? Height of the tower is not 20. So height of the tower is with boy also you should consider, right? 20 plus 1.6. 
So that is 21.6 meters. Okay, yes. Okay, all of you tell me this answer now. Question number seven. This is 45 degree over here. This is 45 degree. Upper part of the tree is broken over by the wind. Like similar question, what we have done in last class. What we have done in last class, the same way we have to do. Upper part of the uh, tree broken over by the wind makes an angle of 45 degree with the ground and distance from the rod, uh, root of the point. Root of the point, what, uh, where the top of the tree touches the ground is 50 meters. What is the height of the tree before it was broken? Ansini, can you solve this question? I'm doing so. Monish, your camera is not working till now. Uh, just a second, sir. I think some network problem is there. I'll just on it. You want last class? You told me that your camera will work from the next class. You want? You know, got the answer, Monish. You got the answer for this? Not yet, sir. I'm just doing. Those who have done, they can do in the just chat box. They just write the message, write the answer in the chat box. I got one answer. This much time is taking to solve this question. We're almost done. Yes, yes, sir, almost, sir. Sir, done, sir. See, AB is 15 you are getting, right? Yes, sir. It's 15 root 2 by 2. And sine 45 you can use. Sine 45 is AB by or AB by what? AC. So sine 40 by 1 by root 3. Root 2 is equals to AB. 15 by AC, right? Yes, sir. So AC is equals to 15 root 2. Wow, how much time is taking? 10 seconds is taking. Why? I don't know why people are doing so time. Taking not a single answer I'm getting from here, people. What do you revise and all? I don't know. So AB, AB is equal to 15. And Hansen, you understood? Sir, how? I didn't think of directly taking sine 45, sir. That's why. Hansini, AB is equal to 15 meters. How it came, you understood? Yes sir. yes, sir. How how it came? Tell me. It's there in the question, right, sir? Question is given 15. No, a B C equal to 15. It's given B C, not A, a B. Yeah. It's given B C, right? Yes, sir. So 
how it become ab is equal to 15 also how it becomes hmm Sir, but again, they are asking what was the height of the tree before it was broken. So we are supposed yeah. to add AB plus AD. Yes. So what is the answer for that? 15 plus 15 root 2, right? 15 plus 15 root 2. So 15 bracket, 1 plus root 2. 1 plus root 2. Yeah. This is the final answer. Yes. Ansini, what we are doing, try to understand. Tan 45 we are using first. Tan 45 is AB by BC. Ansini. So that's why BC is already given 15 and 1045 is one. If you solve, you'll get AB is equal to what? 15 only. Okay. So 1045 we have to use, then only get the answer for AB. Then we have to move further. Understood, Ansini? Yes, sir. Yeah. But I directly took sine 45, sir. So I didn't got answer. Okay, next question is. Oh, where it went. Since question number fifth, all of you. A cut is attached to a string. Find the length of the string over here. Find the length of the string. So this 30 degree and 60 meters. This is 30 degree and 60 meters. What is the length of the string? Question number Yeah, chatting, no one, no one is getting till answers. This is very small, small question I'm asking to you children. Very, very small questions. No any high five sums or something like that you can't do or something like that. All are basic questions I'm asking to you people. Will the answer be 30 meters? Answer be 30 meters. Um, no. Sir, I already said the answer. Yeah, Tanishka is correct. Tanishka, yeah, the answer is correct. So, what you have taken? Who is told 30 meters? Rainy, you? Oh, yes, sir. I misunderstood the question. Which one you are applying? Sine, cos, or tan? Sir, by mistake, can we use sine? Yeah, sine we can use over here. So sine oh. 30. Because we have to find here what? We have to find the length of the string. The string is your hypotenuse, right? Yes, sir. And this is opposite. So sine 30 is O by H. So 60 by H. The 1 by 2 is equals to 60 by H. If you solve, what do you get? 120, no? Okay, sir. 60 by 2 you have done. Yes, sir. I took the hyp uh, hypotenuse as 60. What is 
Yeah, solve this one question. You have to find the value of x over here. Try to understand the question and just find out the answer for x. So in the figure given below, it is given that AB is perpendicular to BD. And is of length X meters. DC is 30 meters. DC is 30 meters. ADB is 30 degree. ACB is 45 degree. Without using the table, find X. You have to find the value of X over here. So B D A B. A B is permanent to B D and it's A B length is X. So you have to find X over here. How to find X? Just tell me the answer for this first. So there are two right angle triangle, two right angle triangle. First triangle is A B C. Second right angle triangle is A B D. These two triangles you solve and get the answer for X. Right in the chat box, who's writing first? Let me check. There are only eight students present today. Till now, I not received any answers. It will take so long time. You should solve within one minute these questions. Two triangles solving fast, fast, fast over. You have to use tan only because there's no uh, use of hypotenuse over here, right? Yes, sir. So triangle A, B, C, you didn't got the answer. So let's solve right now. Okay, see, I'm solving now. Tan 45 is equals to Hello. A by B, C. So one is equal to X by B, C. So B, C is equals to also X, right? Now A, B, D, what you can do is tan 30. Tan 30 is equals to A, B by B, C plus 30. So tan 30 is one by root three is equals to AB. AB is X, again, X plus 30. So X plus 30 is equals to what? Root 3X. So root 3X, again, minus X is equals to 30. 
So x common you take root 3 minus 1 is equals to 30. x is equals to 30 divided by root 3 minus 1. Let's analyze this. How much you're taking time? I don't know. Solving two equations, you have you want so much time. I don't know why you're getting so much long time you are solving in solving you are getting. So 30 into root 3 plus 1 divided by 2. So we get 15 into root 3 plus 1. That's it. What you get? 15 into C 30 root 3 plus 1 divided by 2. So what is the answer? 15 into root 3 plus 1. So why we children are not getting answers? I don't know why. Monish, why you didn't solve till last? Sir, I just got confused in one step and I was not getting. No, you should confuse. Very small question. It's not uh, anything thinking or something like that. Simply to, we have to solve two triangles and just get the answers. These all kind of these are basic sums actually. Second level sum. First level is only one triangle. Second level is only second two triangles are there. It shows that you people are not practicing at home. Sriyashi, so, what you are not practice at home? Yes, sir. But little bit still required to practice. Because why? If I solved yes, NCRT completely, you should not have doubt in these sums. These sums are very easy. Sir, I was doing it only, sir, but I was kind of slow, sir. Achha, okay. So it will take not more than one minute. It should be faster. Next question is, yeah, question number third you do now. See the question. Find the height of the building when it is found that on walking towards 40 meters, 40 meters in a horizontal line through its base, angular elevation of its top is 40, 30 degrees to 45 degrees. Just try to understand what is given the question, what you have to find. See, figure almost is drawn for you, but don't see that. Try to do it by yourself. I'll write here name of the figure is A, B, C, D. So first you try to understand the question, find the height of the building. When it is found that on walking towards 40 meters, see actually anyone is standing at D, okay? So when he is walking towards the building, 40 meters after walking, the angle is getting, getting changed. Before it was 30 degree, now it's become 45 degree, okay? So we have to find the height of the building. This AB we have to find. Tell me the first. Right now, uh, time is 8.56. At what time are you just telling the answers? I don't know. Just tell me the answer. Within two minutes, you give. Till 7.58, you give the answer. After this chapter, which one we should do children? After this chapter? Linear equations. Linear equation, two variables. Uh, okay. Sir? 
Yes, sir. Yes, tell me. Sir, can we directly take ten thirty, or should we always start it with ten forty-five, sir, to find the value of? You can AD. start with any triangle. Not a problem. You can start with any triangle, but preferably, if you do know this uh, small triangle, that is better. You can take any triangle. Yes. It's not compulsory that you have to take thirty only or forty-five. Not like that. You can take any triangle any time. Sir, if I take the biggest triangle first, sir, then I'm getting uh, something. No problem. Like just see, I'm just doing the bigger triangle only. No problem. But exam only, try okay. the small triangle only. See, A, B, D. I'm considering over. I should tan thirty. I'm writing here. Okay. So tan thirty is equals to A, B, divided by B, C plus forty. Correct. Yes, sir. So one by root three is equals to A, B by B, C plus forty. So B C plus forty is equals to what? Root three A B, correct? So A B is equals to what? You can write A B is equals to B C plus forty divided by root three. So this will go a bit complicated, or no? Now next next one you see, ten forty five right now. Okay, that's it. So triangle A B C you see now. So ten forty five is equals to AB by BC. So from here we'll get AB is equal to BC, right? So this will change over yes, here. Sir. Now what you should find here, AB you should find. So in place of BC, what you should do? AB only write in place of BC. That's AB it. we can write. Sir. So from here you can write here AB is equals to AB plus forty divided by root three, right? So I got the answer. Ha huh, yes. So what you got the answer? You got the answer as twenty brackets uh, root three plus one. Okay, root three AB is equal to AB plus forty. So a uh, root three AB, if you take common here, the root three minus one is equal to forty. I think you'll get twenty, right? Twenty yes, root three plus one should get. Yes, sir. Twenty. Yeah. Here you see twenty root three plus one. Yeah, correct. So anyone who is not understanding, I know which part you may have feel difficult, but already I told you how to just move further with this. Here you may have doubt, right? So I'll just do once again over here. So root three AB minus AB is equal to forty. So root three common AB minus one is equal to forty. Sorry, huh? AB should take common here, right? So AB you take common root three minus one. So after this you do AB is equals to what? Root three minus one. Then this lies here. Root three plus one. Root three plus one. So what you get? Twenty. Root three plus one. This is answer. Okay. Now solve question number fifth. Two pillars of equal height, either side of the roadways. Similar question we have done before also. NCERT. Remember, it was sixty degree and thirty degree itself. Same question we have done in NCERT. Just let me check who has given the answer first over here. Reni, you understood everything? Oh uh, yes, sir. Okay. Who is not answering over here? Who is sitting silently over here? Aditi, you are not telling anything. Your mic and nothing is working. Mic and camera both are not working, right? Okay. Ansini, it's clear to you, Ansini. Yes. Sir. So try to make the figure of the question number fifth. See, it's mentioned over here. If you are not understanding, just check it out. Figure. If you are not understanding, just check it. Similar question. What we have done in NCERT sums. So here there are two pillars over here, A, B, and C, D. <laughs> both are equal, so you just let both are h only. Both are of equal height. H h you can let or x x if you want. You just tell anything. You can take it off. 
So you have to find the height of the pillar as well as position of the point. Means from which point? So you got the answer. Okay, fine, fine. Nobody got the answer till now. Just message me fast. And if you're not getting, just tell me. I don't know correctly. So that I'll explain starting only. I'll start off. Arshit, you are understanding the question and doing? Yes, sir. Doing it. Okay, do fast. I sent you my answer. Yes, I received your answer. Okay. 75 root 3 is the height of pillar, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Seventy-five root three. Okay, let me solve right now. So here we have to find uh, just so we have two triangles over here. I'm just using tan 60. Tan 60. The first of all, understood the uh, this one, right? Right, this one x 150 minus x h and h. This you understood, right? So tan 60, we can write it as h by x. So root three is equals to h by x. So h is equals to what? Root three x. This is the first equation. Second equation is tan thirty. So the answer is seventy five root three. Let me check. I don't think seventy five root three is correct answer. So tan thirty is uh, h by one fifty minus x. So one by root three is equals to h by 150 minus x. So h we can replace with a root 3x. The so 1 by root 3 is equals to root 3x divided by 150 minus x. This is uh, this one. Then we can write gross multiply 3x is equals to 150 minus x. 150 minus x, right? So 4x is equals to 150. So x is equals to what will you get? We don't go only. 
150 by 4 we get, right? What are we getting for x? 150 by 4. So one this one part we got, BP we got that is odd, 150 by 4. All well, of you are not getting 150 by 4, this one. Or you can divide if you want proper, if you want more proper answer, you can divide it off. Now, put here in H value, if you want, you can put here. It will come root 3 into what? 150 by 4. So you should multiply here 150. Your answer actually, this is only, this is the only answer. 150 by 4 root 3. This is the height of the, this is the height of the pillars. Okay. And other point, if you want to find other point distance, so that you can do 150 minus 150 by 4. It's clear to everyone. I don't know where you've done mistake and all. I don't know, Monish, where you've done, what you've done. This coming something. So this just uh, what's it divided it. I also got 375, uh, 37.5 root 3. Yeah, if you want to cancel, you can cancel if you want here. You can cancellation also you can do. Suppose you got two two the four, two seventy uh, seventy five will come, right? You'll get thirty seven point five. Yeah, we're getting correctly only, right? So other part also you can write three seventy five. You can write here, other part also here. X you got three seventy thirty seven point five root three. Okay. What you got thirty seven point five root three. Root three value if you want, you can put it off. 37.5. So other part 150 minus x, what you should do? 150 minus 37.5. So you got the other part also. Clear to everyone? So nobody did correct, given me correct answer. Only two children gave the answer, but that also somewhere you have done mistake. Anyone having doubt in this answers, what I've written here? Thing written in small, is it the solution, sir? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, hey, uh, Monish, what do you do now? Is multiply once with calculator 37.5 into 1.732? 1 sir, can you repeat again what to multiply? 37.5. Yes, sir. Multiply with 1.732. So 64.95. Yeah, we are getting the same answer. Yes, Riyashi, see, we are getting the same answers over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you do by any method, see, position of the point also is given 37.5 meter from the pillar. We have done correctly only. Yeah. Paniska is clear now? Yes, sir. Hmm. So there are two parts you can solve across stripe. Near. Now see next question. Question number seven, all of you do now. Question number seven. Uh, the figure is not given. You have to do the figure and all, okay? Question number seven, you do now. Harshit, you got the same answer what we have done in sixth question. Yes, sir. Okay. All of try question number seven, seventh now. Sir, what do you mean by first vertically above the first point of observation? Yeah, sorry, children. Uh, Sreshi, you are telling something. 
Uh, I didn't see. understand the second sentence. I did not understand it. Uh, first part you understood. Yes, sir. I, I do the tower you are getting. Okay, line you are not a question. You are not understanding. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The second sentence of the question. See here the angle of elevation of top tower. This is this is tower. Angle of elevation from top tower to be sixty degree. See here this is sixty degree, right? This is tower. A B is a tower. This is sixty degrees given at point thirty meter vertically above the first point of observation. See, this is the first point, right? This is the first point, no? At the point thirty meter vertically above the first point of observation means thirty meter above. Understood, sir? She. Yes. Sir. Now the angle of elevation is what forty five degree. Now, now the same thing will be what forty five degree. So you just you can just join over here. This becomes forty five degree. Now I hope it's clear now, right? Yes, sir. So we have to find here height of the tower. If this is thirty, this part is also just name it here as uh, A B. Here write C. Here write D. Here write E. So this is also thirty. So you should find you can write here x. You should write here y. Solve two triangles, two triangles over here, and get the answer. That's it. Sir, doesn't the forty-five degrees form at the bottom, like on the same ground? No, they have given here another question. At a point thirty meter vertically above the first point. Thirty meter. You see, this is a D is the first point over here. Right. So thirty meter above will be this E point, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so from point E, it's forty-five uh, degree. Okay, sir. Yeah. So the points of observation, like the distance up to the points of observation, will be the same, right, sir? Yes, yes. It's not like it's all directly just above, vertically above. What? Tell one second. Tell one second. What are you saying? Sir, like, wouldn't the horizontal distance from the first? I mean, both the points of observation wouldn't it be the same distance? Yes, yes. BD is equal to CE. Yes, sir. That will be same only. Yeah, we have done so many questions. It is the same only. That is not a change. That will not change. Yes, sir. Yes. I got one answer right now. Yeah, Tanishka has written. Let me check. First answer you got, Tanishka. You got fifteen. Thirty-one plus root three. Sir, I got thirty. You're not cancelled. Do not put. You're not cancelled. Root three minus one one. Sir, I'll check. Okay. The answer is different here. The answer is different. I'll solve. I'll solve right now. Wait. I'll solve the same thing. Let me erase first. So completely erase off here. Hmm. 
Okay. See, now we'll start two triangles over here. Uh, you can see that. Instead of taking entire AB, I took just one particle. Okay. A, E, D, if you consider. So if this is Y, this is also Y you consider. If this is 30, this is also 30 you consider. If this is X, you can consider. So anyone got the answer, final answer? I know you have to practice a lot, children. Okay. This you have to practice a lot. Maths, you have to practice a lot. Okay, sir, were... I got the answer. Yes, tell the answer. Root 3 brackets x plus 1. First one. Uh, my first one. Height of the tower you are saying? Uh, no, not first one. Second one? I got answer for y. Okay. Y answer is distance, right? Second answer. Yes, Monish, you got the answer? Monish? Yes, sir. You got the answer? Sir, I'm doing the last thing. So A, E, D, if you just see children, A, E, D. Sir, okay. technically both the answers are same. Uh, yeah, I think, yes, correct. It's 45 degree, no, that's why it's correct, yes. So 1045 is x by y. So x is equals to y, right? Yes, sir. In triangle A, B, C, tan 60 degree is equals to x plus 30 by y, correct? So 1 by root, sorry, root 3 only will come. Root 3 is equals to x plus 30 by x. So root 3x is equals to x plus 30. Then root 3x minus x is equals to 30. So x common, root 3 minus 1 is equal to 30. We'll get 15, no? 15 into root 3 plus 1. Tanishka, right? Yes, sir, I did it again. So this was very easy question. How much time we are taking? Only one or two minutes maximum. Children, these are very easy questions. You have to practice a lot. I'll just share this one after the class. You practice everything. And how much you practice, then you're fast. You can do faster also. By seeing only just do, 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 you just keep on, keep on doing, keep on doing, keep on over. Like that, you can just finish it off in exam. <laughs> See question number 12 now, children, all of you. Question number 12, you check it out. Question number 12. Question number 12. The horizontal distance between two hour towers is 75 meters and angular displacement of the tower first tower to be seen to towers 160 meter high is 45 degree. Find the height of first tower. First tower, second tower, you have to verify over here. Sir, in this question, sir, did I didn't want to mention whether the two towers are equal or unequal. So should we just make them unequal? The unit distance, the angular displacement, first tower. No, how we can make it equal? Yes, sir, that's what I'm saying. We have to make it unequal, right? Yeah, obviously unequal. If angle of depression and this is there given, so obviously they are unequal. The horizontal distance between two towers is 75. The two towers you make it as 75. This is the first one and second one. Distance between them is 75. 
angular depression of the first to the first uh, top of first tower as seen from the second tower angular depression of the first tower the angular depression of the top of the first tower seen from the second this is second this is first because you're seeing from the second tower right see the question the angular depression of the top of the first tower as seen from the second tower so if angle of depression is this one this is this angle of depression of which tower second tower and you're seeing in this on first first tower you're just seeing this right so this is given as 45 degree and this distance also is given this is 160 meters right same for the second which is 160 meter high this whole thing is 160 meter high this complete part is how much high 160 meter high why this is second tower you understood all of you children because you are seeing the first tower from second tower itself that's why this become angle of depression, right? Next, find the height of the first tower. You should find this first tower height. Okay. So let the height of the first tower be what? X. Let the height of the first tower be X. So this is what? X. So this part becomes what? 160 minus X. So you can write, write now A, B, C, D, E. This is A. This is B. This is C. This is D. This is E. So if this is 45, this will also become what? 45 degree. All are very, very easy, children. All are very, very easy. Okay, answer. Answer. What you got the answer? Sorry. Yeah. AC is 85 meters. AC is 85 meters. Hmm. Hey, AC is given, no? AC is given here 160. Oh, I mean like uh, ED. AC. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got uh, the yeah, yeah, 85 meters, yeah. yes, correct. So even I got 85 meters. Yeah, this was a very easy question. Nothing to worry about this, but mainly you should learn here, which is first tower is second tower. If you understood that, they can get to do easily. Okay. So many sums are there, then we'll do various sums in the next class, children. Then I'll just share this PDF only to you. So many questions are there with me, okay? All you try one by one, one by one, you can keep on trying. This is from different book, actually, okay? So concept are same only, but questions are a bit different. Keep on solve these questions one by one. Then you can understand better, okay? So you close the meeting here itself today? Yes, tell me. Okay, sir. So the so, answer you got was 85 meters, right, sir? 80. What do you got? Any 85 only, right? Yes, sir. 85. Yes, sir. 85. You got 85 only, uh, Sreyashi? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, 85. The height of tower is 85. Yeah, correct. Okay, children, that's for today. Thank you all. You can leave now. I'll just share the PDF to you with you this one. <laughs> I'll send to you. Okay, Thank sir. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, children. You can leave now.